Exciting developments in the world of football this past weekend as we saw the FA Cup quarterfinals take place, a bit of evening out up top in La Liga. The Bundesliga finished with an intense last day for Champions League qualification and relegation status and more cracking play in Serie A. The FA Cup semifinals are a who's who of English football as we will see some of the biggest names in the sport face off as Manchester United plays Chelsea and Manchester City takes on Arsenal. Usually a tournament where anything could happen, could the struggling Gunners actually upset City? Does Chelsea knock off United to stunt their incredible form in 2020? All we know is it's gonna be a fun watch mid-July. In La Liga, we're starting to see a trend. Real Madrid keeps winning, Barcelona keeps tying, Atletico Madrid keeps winning, Sevilla keeps tying, Real Sociedad keeps losing, and all of a sudden we're seeing a race up top for both the title and Champions League qualification become a little more clear. Perhaps no one in world football looks as good as both Madrid's do currently, and we're starting to see Kike Setien's presence at Barcelona wane a bit. Can they regroup and stay on pace with Real at the top? This week will be massively important for them. In Italy, the race for the top three is actually looking pretty interesting as Atalanta keeps putting in hella goals and Inter keeps scraping by with close wins while Lazio and Juventus maintain their pace in second and first respectively. Juve doesn't necessarily look fantastic, but they are winning matches and scoring goals at a healthy rate, so who's to complain, right? They're in the driver's seat for their ninth straight Scudetto, but truly don't sleep on the clubs behind them. With a few drop points, CR7 and company could see the trophy slip from their grasp. Now that you are caught up, let's take a look at the top three European football matches you absolutely can't miss this weekend. Also, happy 4th of July weekend to all my fellow Americans out there. First matchup, let's start in England with a Saturday afternoon matchup between Arsenal and Wolverhampton. Two teams trending in opposite directions, despite the Gunners advancing to the FA Cup semifinals this past weekend. The recent form in the Prem has been pretty iffy. Two L's to begin the restart let them as far down the table as 11th. And while they've regrouped a bit, the scoring troubles of Aubameyang and Lacazette are a bit surprising, while young guys like Pepe, Nketiah, and Willock have supplied the firepower necessary to keep them alive for European qualification next season. Can they get to Europa? Well, let's see if Mikel Arteta can rally the troops a bit. Meanwhile, you have a Wolverhampton side that is threatening for a Champions League berth in only their second season in the EPL since being promoted in the summer of 2018. The firepower of Raul Jimenez, Adama Traore, and Pedro Neto make them one of the most fun squads to watch in England right now, while their defense is stifling, allowing zero goals in their first three games back since restart. They are back and forth with Manchester United for a fifth spot in the Prem in a spot that currently carries qualification given Man City's ban. Will they shock the European footballing landscape and play in Europe's biggest tournament next season? All we know is that Saturday's matchup is crucial and should be a great watch. Next we have the DFB Pokal final between Bayern Munich and Bayern Leverkusen. This is step two in Bayern's quest for a treble. They absolutely thrashed the Bundesliga scoring 100 goals and winning handily. Now they have to take on a young, exciting side in Leverkusen that finished fifth in Germany, but has young star power that can surprise a veteran Munich side and dash their hopes of a historic season. Since restart, Bayern has looked like the best team in Europe, winning every single match they played in and continuing to produce stats that can make you dizzy. Record setting years from Thomas Mueller and Robert Lewandowski shouldn't be surprising to anyone who's watched them since Hansi Flick took over and their back four has been an absolute wall. They have an immense uh, amount of talent and for the foreseeable future will be the favorites to win pretty much every match they participate in, including the Champions League. They could potentially have their hands full Saturday, however, with Leverkusen star Kai Havertz. The stud German midfielder has many of the top clubs around the world, reportedly vying for his services right now, including Bayern, as Bayer sadly missed out on UCL by two points. However, he could get a trophy Saturday for his current squad by upsetting Bayern, and given his form since restart, don't be surprised if Kai puts a ball or two in the back of the net. July 4th will be an exciting day for European football. Yeah. Lastly, we have Real Madrid versus Athletic Club. Could the La Liga title race potentially be over this weekend? With Real looking borderline unstoppable since restart and Barcelona looking a tad feeble, Madrid could go up even more this weekend and make it very hard for Barca to catch up. Los Blancos have been absolutely incredible since restart. With Eden Hazard back fully healthy, Vinicius Jr. establishing himself as a star, Kareem Benzema back scoring goals, and Zidane working the 4-3-3 to a T, this is a club looking like one of the more dangerous in Europe. Can they continue acquiring three points and putting the title race out of reach for Barca? Against Athletic, it might actually be hard to come by. Bilbao has done well since restart, achieving eight points in their first five matches and slowly crawling their way back into a top 10 standing in La Liga. As it stands Tuesday afternoon, Athletic are in ninth and only six points away from Europa League qualification. 
They play amazing defense, currently in third in La Liga and goals allowed for the season, but sometimes struggle to put balls in the back of the net themselves as they have only scored 36 goals this season. Don't be surprised if this match ends no nil or one nil, something like that. However, as far as importance in the La Liga standings, it doesn't get much better than Sunday at 8 a.m. Eastern. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to click the like button and follow us at International Champions Cup on Instagram and Facebook, and at INT Champions Cup on Twitter. We'll see you next week.